Yes, remember this. This is the runaway slave. And this channel is a mega channel. Yes, remember this. This is the runaway slave. And this channel is a mega channel. God, the runaway slave thing this, yeah? We do not want no old nigga over here. And we do not want no house nigga over here. Remember this. This is the runaway slave. And this channel is a mega channel. Ah, the runaway slave thing this, yeah? We do not want no old nigga over here. And we do not want no house nigga over here. So what is here, here, stay here. As I say, this is a nigga channel. And we not beg for no followers. And we not ask for no likes or dislike. If you hear me thing and you don't like what you hear, just leave me things alone. Again, I'll be playing some music under the fear uses um, class. Right? So, this is how I think that. So, those are for you who is not all a nigger and don't feel that you should be called a nigger you can leave the nigger thing alone and leave my channel alone because like I said this is all for the superstars nigger yeah if you are political correct you can don't come over here and if you deal, believe in multiculturalism too don't come over here all right so, I don't have no problem. We don't know. Someone now come over here to tell me now how oh, I fall in line. Because remember, I'm the runaway slave. I already take one myself out of the thing. I'm not a Jamaican. When I go back to Africa, I dash with my Jamaican passport and come out now, run back out as an African. So, I don't have no way to go now. I don't go back. I don't mean, I mean, I go back to Jamaica. I don't mean, go back to Africa. I'm stuck in a Babylon. Yes, that was my disclaimer. So now, I don't know which part I stand. Now, this is Black History Month here in Britain. And a whole heap of thing motivate me to be doing what I'm doing now. So, before me start, me can just some people some respect. First, I want to give respect to the people in the, on the ground that move me to be doing what I'm doing today. People like Jamaica P, respect. People like Soul floor, respect. People like Futa Hype, respect. People like Pretty Bang, yeah, respect. People like Annie Pasta, respect. People like Mr. Vegas, respect. People like Warikaela. Enough respect. People like Ida Star. Ida Star. Respect. So now, let me talk to my international brothers them now, because respect got to also got to some um, international brothers. Um, respect goes out to fear up. Yeah, cause you are one of the man where I like how you balance your thing 
a lot of, a lot of my friends don't like how you talk. But you see, if you follow my thing, you will know say me have my own thinking capacity. So one of the man we move I when I go tell you now is Jason Black. You the man we my all in a ice thing. A lot of people again don't like how you talk. Because them say you call yourself the black authority. But you are the authority in this time. So I'm mean, have no problem with you. Say you're the black authority. And next, I'm a brother where enough people don't like. But again, this thing is not about who you like and who you don't like. Because Malcolm will tell you that we must make nobody choose our friend or our enemy for us. Tariq, my brother dear, Tariq. Me like how you talk. Because when you talk, it you no, know, and shape me. Me like how Vicky talk to. I'm like how Michi talk to. Michi X. Because I'm you not know, getting a your thing when you start taking on some other people. I like that because I'm going to crush some canto. So when I crush the can, then I don't want to you know, go on like a foul. So I leave out. I leave out Black Authority. I leave out. And all who I don't call. Respect goes out. Because I'm still my brother. So don't go to Jamaica way. Muta, hold tight. Jerry. Bongo Jerry, hold tight. Long time me I watch him so like you. I don't know if you're sick or what, but I appear people are standing for you now. So whatever, I go down with you. I want you come forward because I like listening to you too. Iron sharp, my iron. Bongo Miguel, you have a long time, brethren. You know me personal, me know you personal, so nothing no really funny. You know, so ever not the fields of work. And who else again? Elise Kelly, big up. Ron Moshe, big up. Um, the brother we run um, on stage, Wilford. Me and you meet a couple times, but me never go live by your thing, because I'm a bit shy. Them time there. Eh? But respect goes out to you still. Keep your work up. Um, the sister in there, don't know how to keep what's your name on with her. Andrea. Respect. We were supposed to get a talk. But somehow the talk they never met because on the journey thing. But I saw um big up some I'm a gong bridge in them. My ad stepper bridge in them like Oku Okoranda. Respect goes out to you still stand up for another Gideon. Jayot, you will tight see you up on Erin Street. Alright, don't clear still down now, will it up? Last time I see a Tabo come lit chalice and nothing. That was the chalice time. And who else? Lego. You don't know how you are well on the foot. So that's who I'm going to call. Jaraga. Yeah, for putting on the thing. I'm a bridge in Kuta. Over Craig Town. Stand firm, same way. Right. So now, as I said, this is Black History Month here in England. So, I'm going to put on the history. Um. One of my good sisters, Mama June, passed away condolence to our family. I went to our nine night when Friday night gone. I went to our nine night and I learned a lot of things that I, I keep learning things. Cause you never too old for learn. So one of the great things that I learned, and I went telling you now, because I saw the history go. Let me just pull up again and I fly out 1976 after altercation with me and Siago. I'm not going to tell you what the altercation about, but after altercation between me and Siago, everything turned upside down. Because at the time, if you want to know, it was 1976 was a great year. A very tedious year for Jamaica. Because 19, between 1975 and 1976, that's when the U.S. step up it game with the infantry and with the CIA. 
to take Jamaica from Michael Manley. I think it started here from 75 when after Castro come down there and we build up the, the Cuban school and all these things, the thing turn up. But like me say, I was a part of the squad that went to um, Lockdown Shamsab Square. Yeah, I was a part of that team. But moving right along after, after Castro come and gone, the pressure and the heat turn up and the knockings turn up. So, election day, 1976. Um, this is after Bob Marley get shot. This is after the One Love concert when them, before they shoot Bob Marley and Bob Marley out of Bulby and claims him now come to the One Love concert. And the Prime Minister saying, one or three go for him. Set the soldier go for him. And him saying, now nah, move. And again, for the record, at the park I go for him. Me and my team again, and we go for him. And we carry him in a race course, if you don't remember. And we carry the gang in a race course. One might have smart, because I know this one have small memory, a short memory, and people don't remember what they remember. But it was the park heights, the wild bunch that carried the gang into the park that day and hand him over. So that's one part of the issue. You can go check back that. You know, you're not talk about that. But what I learned Friday night that was very unique is that when Masop leave Jamaica, and come to exile in England. The person that mucks up came to. I happened to find out Friday night that me and mucks up come stay in the same house, the same link. Even though we were on different side of the fence in Jamaica. So is the youth that I want to learn from this now? At no time at all, Tivoli girl never see me as an enemy. Because they never treat me as such. Yes, we were in the knockings. Because the knocking is the knockings. You have to defend where you're dead. It's survival. But one side it come out. At the field. And come international. I wasn't the enemy no, no more. Because I remember when I first came to England. All the call that I was receiving from Jamaica was from Tivoli Garden. All the, all the knockers them. And everybody called me for whatever reason. So I have never seen myself as the enemy of any fraction in Jamaica. Because like I tell you, we were the steppers. Now, I'm going to leave from that for a minute now and I want to address my brethren, my good brother, Jason Black. Recently, Jason Black made a statement. And the statement was that why Jamaica should have respect Marcus Garvey more than all they do. Yes, that is the fact. And I respect you, Jason, because I heard you said that is Marcus Garvey make you to be the person you are today. So, I agree with you wholeheartedly. So, I start campaigning now amongst my team. And I use where you say for actually hold my point. I have a good brethren now by the name of Mr. Newell. So I'm saying, when you say, Jason, so you have to understand now that we are taking you very serious. I took what you said and I sent to the intellectual, the people that I consider intellectual in my team. And Mr. Newell is one of the persons that 
eye hole in self eye steam. Because it's not too much people more in eye steam, you know, so you have to know that Jason, when I say I hold somebody in eye steam, the person is tested. So when I send um, your last couple of program to my Virgin Andel and said, Tell me what you think. And they'll reply by telling me that you don't know what you're talking about. Say, so You mean the man I know what I talk about. So I start challenging him and you're in your defense. And my brother does humble me. Yeah, Jason, my brother used one word and uh, humble me. And I go and tell you the word when you use and humble me. And I want you, Fira, and Tariq, listen to this now. My brother tell me, say, Bonnie, then I know what I'm talking about. Because remember when you leave Jamaica, who you was fighting? Mm. You hear that? When I leave Jamaica, I was fighting the CIA. Because the CIA at that time had tried to infiltrate and take over Jamaica. And it's me and my team shoot them out. And we win the war 76. And the war was very tedious. Because after that war, when the government have to spring me out. Right. So now, when I spring out and land up in the U.S., at the time, the U.S., because of how the war had set, it was us against them. It's 1976, Jason. It was us against them. Globally. Ah, oh, you forget that, Jason. 1976. We didn't now go back 50 years ago. 1976, when I come to America, it was us, meaning black against white. It was black against white in England, in the Caribbean, in Jamaica, in the US. Hence, when I land in America, I was a part of everything black. My team, my generation, was everything black, a part of everything black. Now, I am a five-barrel man. Yeah? That's how me to consider myself. Five-barrel man. So me's a Brooklyn man, me's a Bronx man, me's a Manhattan man, me's a Staten Island man, me's a Long Island man. So me did function, New York and Mines. New York and Mines. This is how me function. Wherever me go, me one place. So, I am known in Harlem as Rasta Bunny. Good old Rasta Bunny. If you go up a 145th now and you buck up in a brother Hassan, a brother Divine, yeah, this is how these elders will reply and tell about me. Good old Rasta Bunny. Now, 125th was always the error in, error in strip. Cotton come to Harlem, his coat come to Harlem. But what you didn't know and what you're supposed to know now is that my team was the ganja team. I have never sell an ounce of drugs in my life. Whether coke, heroin, and them things. They have never. See my honor. Never sell it. Never taste it. Never use it. See? So you have to know now how me get trapped off in America. Just the same way in Jamaica. How I was against the CIA. In the U.S., I run it not the same problem. 
Because if you black American remember how them start to flood heroin and coke in the black neighborhood. And it was we the rest. Uh, yeah, me and my friend them in certain neighborhood no coke couldn't. Which part me live far rock away. And the beach side. Yeah. We me live. No coke. I know. Heroin couldn't sell for my segment of the beach. For my patch. Go ask Mr. Buskies out of far rock away. And any elder people in far rock away. They will tell you. One AC Great Boulevard was a weed patch on the beach. And within our radius, no coca heroin could come on the black. And next thing if you know, which part my weed pad did there? It's, it's, like, it's like my weed house was a white color weed house. Because I speak immigration police and all these people have come on my weed house. Because it's right at the airport there, my weed house sit there. So, the point I'm making is that at one stage, to bring the iron and the coke in the black neighborhood, they might have to get rid of certain people. And those certain people is people like me and my team. Because we were like vigilantic in our neighborhood. Yeah, we used to police. Fear you know these things. We used to police our neighborhood. Now, boy, I can't come from my black with no iron and no coke. I may have the body to them. The body to them to burn them out. If, the, if a boy forget burn out, we have who forget to burn them out. And if a boy forget to shoot out, we know we have who forget to knock them out. It's as simple as that. My name good in the street and in the yard. Yeah, my name good in the yard. So, that was a little 15 minutes or 20 minutes segment. The channel is new. I'm building the challenge, the channel. I look no friend. This is that runaway slave channel. I already put my disclaimer where I don't want you to come over here. One, if you're not a descendant of slave, don't come over here. Come talk to me. Two, if you believe in multiculturalism, don't come over here, come talk to me. Right? So therefore, anything you hear over here, make it remain over here. And if you take it from over here, then you carry it in the black community and make them know. Say, you know, say the slave over there, I talk, them man, they not change. So I just said there, my good brother, Jason, Fiera, for you now, you is you put yourself across as the oldest Rasta man, US American Rasta man, and I hold in ice team. You know why I hold in ice team, Fira? I tell you this already, and I would love to talk to you about Kodja Brown. Because Kodja Brown is from my camp, and you must overstand that. When you meet Kojo, the mission with Kojo company was to come deal with I and I, the captive. And Jabogs in New York. And I love you for reason Jabogs stuff because they're the generation of elders, Rastaman, that would love still to bridge that gap that the younger people them, is walking away from. And I think I and I can be of help. So Jason, in your last program I hear I had you call you and I like how you talk to him because like I said, I don't call you, you know, Jason, because I don't know the calling system. Go. And when I study you, 
you are very sharp and rapid. And to me, when the time is right, we'll have a conversation and, you know, about a topic. But there's many things that you speak about that I am feeling. So, let's keep it moving and see how we can um, bring forward everyone and code. What people are supposed to realize, the world is divided in two. Either you know or you don't know. And if you don't know, you don't know. So, be one. 